So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Makeup by Mo. My name is Monique J. And I'm gonna do a tutorial with the BH Cosmetics Shanex um, Remix. So let's see what this thing do. It has um, 18 colors, nine colors on one side and then nine on the other. This side, it has more of a neutral a little bit and then on the other side pretty and i'm loving the these four right here and a little bit of that one too so we're going to work with both sides and see what i actually get uh, what creation i can get out of them so i'm actually going to do two looks i'm going to do one look on myself and then i'm going to do one on my client so yeah let's hop into it so I'm gonna wrap my hair up so it can stay out the way because it is in the way. So we're gonna start like that. My face is already clean and um, I just didn't prime it. So I'm gonna go in with my baby skin and I'm gonna prime my face. And a little goes a long way. You don't need too much with this. It's barely anything in here anyway, so. Put very little on, you could barely see it, but a little on, dab it in. And you guys gotta excuse me, I have a uh, company over here, my sisters and a girlfriend of mine, and they all out there. Um, they're in the living room, might be talking a little too loud, so pretty soon I'm gonna make this a voiceover. And, they out there with the children playing. Um, can't forget that neck. <laughs> so now for the rest of the video, it's going to be a talk over, voiceover, I'm sorry. It's going to be a voiceover because there's too much noise going on in the living room and I can hear them through the door here. And I would be rude to have people in the background making a lot of noise while I'm trying to film the record. So bear with me. Okay, so we're going to start off with the LA pencil and we're going to start on the brows. And I'm just going to brush them up and, you know, get ready to shape them. I don't know why I tried to pull that out with my fingers, but it didn't work for me. I just need to tweeze it. My eyebrows are bad. Get my little compact mirror because my LED light I'm not really working. So anyway, I'm gonna shape these, fill them in, shape them, brush them out, and you guys already know when it comes to the eyebrows, I'm not a big fan of it. But I will do what I gotta do to make it work. So we're gonna go in with my Finny Beauty um, concealer. And that is in the color 440. And I'm just gonna basically do my lids, shape them bad boys, and fill it in. <laughs> I usually shape the top with a different color, but just for the sake of the video and just this look alone, I wanted them to be sharp and crisp and out, out you know what I mean? So I just went with what I know. Again, I messed up a little bit on her brows, but it's okay because they're sisters and not identical twins. So now I'm going in with my little uh, mini bin, blah, 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 with my mini beauty blender. And I'm just going to blend that out of my eyelids. So I get it nice and smooth so it doesn't crease. 
And here I'm going to go in with my Sasha's Buttercup just to set that in. It helps with the color and a little bit of creasing too. So. Now that that's all um, blended out, we're going to go in with the pilot with our Shein Next. And for my crease color, I'm going in with that peachy shade. It's called Bestie. It's like a light salmon. To me, it is. And it didn't really show up too much. I had to go in a couple of times just to get a little tiny tint to it, but it worked out. So now I'm going in my crease color. <laughs> now I'm going in my crease with the color Stalker. Which always, these colors always remind me of the Jezebel out of the Juvia's Place palette, which is one of my favorite colors. So now that that's done, I'm going to go in and darken up my crease a little bit in the outer V. And I'm going to focus a little more in the outer V just to get it a little deeper with the color Vampette. So now that that's done, I'm actually going to go in and go on my lid with the color Dream Girl, which is a pretty nice, like a light coral type of deal. Now see, I was going to use concealer to set so I can set in a little bit so you can see it a little more. But then I was like, nah, because I'm not going for like really a cut crease. You know, you guys know how I feel about the cut creases, but the color wasn't light enough for me I wanted to go a little bit lighter or make it stick out a little more so I go back in the pilot and I think I went in on the other side yeah I went in on the other side of the pilot and I used the color um beach babe it was no I'm, I'm sorry it was um glow baby yeah, with Glow Baby, and I wanted to brighten that up just a little more, give it a little more shine, because it's like a shimmer, the ones with the glitter in it, shimmer, so now I'm going, now I'm going in on the outer V at the bottom, and I'm going in, I believe, with the color, um, Chalavette. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that's like a shimmer too, a dark shimmer. Silhouette is is what I think it's called. <laughs> I'm tarnishing these names, but anyway. I'm going in with my glitter stick and I'm trying something different. I haven't quite done this one, this look before. I haven't never used the glitter stick above because again, with my hooded eyes. So it's kind of difficult with doing that. It's like trying to do a cut crease just with a glitter stick, you know? So I figured I'd give it a try. I just went over top and um, kind of glitter out my crease, I guess. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. Um, don't look too, too bad. Not for it to be my first attempt. But anyway, I'm going on my Finny Beauty um, um, eyeliner. And I'm actually going to do a little tiny bit of a cat eye. Very tiny. Nothing dramatic or deep. Just where you can see it just a little bit. So now I'm going in with my Too Faced Mascara. It's called Better Than Sex. I don't know how true that really is. But does work um so after i did my lashes my mascara i'm going in my finny beauty um in a color 450 i believe that is my foundation and i just put little dots you know on my face i only use one pump like a, like i said with any of the foundations between that and Juvia's place just very little go a long way well for me it does So 
So yeah, I get my um, beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that out. And just dab that in and just try to even it out all over the face. So now I'm going back in and I'm using my Juvia's Place J11 111 brush and I'm, you know, trying to highlight my brow a little bit and the color I use is Island Glow. Now I'm going in with my tiny lashes and these lashes are magnet. Um, instead of me gluing them on, just use the little piece and they only for the outer V of the eye. So I haven't worn them in a long time. So trying to be careful with them. I'm surprised I didn't mess up with putting them on because it's been a long time since I wore them. And again, like I said, it's just for the outer V. So it's like to give the corners a little dramatic swing. You can't even really tell the difference, but I love them. So I went in with my concealer and went under my eye and then the Sasha's Buttercup just to highlight a little bit. gonna set that so now I'm going in with my the Sahara blush volume 2 palette and I went in with the color B that one is actually a, a lot a little light for me a lot of light should I say right so now just to give it some shine I'm going in with Zobo putting over that over top of B and over top of that I'm going in with uh, my Fenty Beauty Hustle Baby and brighten that up a lot more I'm just going to blend that out the brush Decided to put some on for this just the sake of the video. So I'm outlining my lips. Um, I forgot the name of that. I got that a long time ago. I hardly use it. And now I'm going in, and that was too bright for me, but I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Matte um, Lip Gloss. And hate it. So now I'm going in over top of that to give it like a little Aubrey Flex to go a little bit lighter and give it a little tint. And that is a different color from the same brand, Wet n Wild. Now I'm using my finger to go over it. And oh, if you guys notice, like I have a natural arch to my lips. So for real, for real I don't need to outline them to make them, you know, pop or stick out. But I did that because I felt like it was like I put too much of the lip liner on and it went over and it looked like from my point of view it looks like a um, it looked like a black like I had a, a light mustache <laughs> so anyway I'm wetting my hair with some water and mousse in a bottle and pretty much this is the finished look Afterwards, I really, you know, decided that I didn't like the the lip color, so I took it off. I don't like it anyway, but I just put it on just for the video purpose and thought that the color would match the eyeshadow. But anyway, it's the final look. Thanks for tuning in. You already know you watch a makeup by Mo. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe if you haven't been to my channel yet. Thanks for stopping by, and I'm putting my scarf back on. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye.